Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the Thursday Talk Triple T. I'm Brian Wyatt. This is T. Money Changes here. Changes now. The Thursday Talk. So today we're going to talk a little bit about fasting. Uh, Tyler and I is on a currently on a 24-hour fast. We're about 23 hours into it. Um, and so I'm just going to talk a little bit about my first experiences with fasting and when I first kind of got introduced into it. Um, you know, people fast for... Uh, New, numerous reasons, um, spiritual enlightenment, uh, weight loss, and, and those are the two reasons uh, why I've done it. So my first experiences with fasting is when I was in prison, uh, every year on July 17th, I would fast. And July 17th is important to me, it's my daughter's birthday. Okay. So I would fast, and, and just the profound thing about it is everything that I was praying for and hoping for is just coming to life right now. The relationship and the bond we have, uh, me getting to spend time with her and see her, uh, it's just um, the res you know God restored our relationship, and I'm just so thankful for it, and, and all glory to God. And so that was my first experience uh, with really fasting, uh, really self denial, and, and just um, reaching out to Him uh, in prayer. And so that was my 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 experiences with spiritual fasting. Uh, next, I'll get into uh, weight loss and weight control. Uh, when I started my fitness journey about a year ago, I, I began it with uh, a 48-hour fast. I did do like protein shakes and caffeine, coffee, uh, things of that uh, nature, but no, no solids. And that's what really kick-started my weight loss and got me in the groove of where I'm at now. So this current fast uh, Tyler and I are on, it was um, I. It just helps to uh, to stay on track. You get um, you start indulging um, in food and, and in other things as well. Uh, it's easy to get off track. It's easy to get sidetracked in this uh, in this life. And uh, but I don't want the easy way out. I want to uh, you know whatever's going to take to level up to keep me on this line. And um, so so we we're on this 23 hour fast, and, and it's just a good mental reset for me. And, and I, I feel like it's going to project me. Uh, tremendously uh, moving forward and I'm and I'm just excited now uh, to see where to see where I can get my my physique and uh, and, and level up mentally uh, you want to speak a little bit about this current fast yeah so so why do we fast um, everybody fasts for different reasons me personally I fast uh, to develop to develop uh, my uh, mental strength my self-discipline um, so anytime, so what is a, a, a fast? So you're restricting, uh, you're sacrificing uh, self-gratification, instant gratification, um, because your body's natural response uh, releases liptin and ghrelin to, to regulate your hunger, because when you get hungry, you eat, and when you eat, you supply your body with an energy source. So um, that's your natural body's response anytime that you uh, uh, sacrifice that instant gratification and you fast, uh, that is hard. So, and when you do something that's hard, uh, it, 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 it develops your self-discipline. And for the mental aspect, for me, is what it's all about. It, it, when, when I go uh, on these fasts, it, I, do, I don't do it because it's easy, I do it because it's hard. And I used to have a weak mindset. And any time when your mind tells you, hey, go eat this or, or, or do this, it doesn't have to be necessarily food or what about those bad habits or, mm -hmm. or what about that old girlfriend or, or whatever it might be. Your mind's going to try to trick you 24-7 into doing something that's, that feels right, that self-gratification, that instant gratification. Anytime you restrict and you hold back from that, it's hard. And and when you fast, it might be from food or, or it might be from whatever. Self denial of, of what we take uh take for granted uh, or take pleasure in really can help project you for the next level up. Absolutely. That and and it's those little tools that we utilize uh, like fasting to uh to, to, to level up. To, to stack those W's because because that's what we're about. We're stacking W's and when you stack those W's and you constantly stack and stack and stack, guess what happens? Your, your self-esteem uh, rises. Uh, you feel better about yourself. Thus, you feel better and you project yourself uh, more positively to others. It's, just, it's, all, a, it's all a building, a building, uh, uh, whatever, a, a, a building state, if you will. So, 
fasting is a tool that you use to build those wins. Um, so right now we're on a, we only got about 50 more minutes left and we're, uh, we're heading to Olive Garden. Hey, Olive Garden, we'll be there. <laughs> we'll be there soon. <laughs> um, it, it, and, and it's the reason why sometimes I get like more insight, more understanding is because when your body enters a ketosis state, uh, uh, the ketones is a, is a, a more dense energy source than glucose. So I suggest any and everybody just try it. There's many types of different, there's different types of fasting. Um, you don't have, you can fast for spirituality. You can, you can fast for self-discipline. You can fast for weight loss. It just, just give, give, just try it out. Um, it, it, it doesn't have to be just water. You know, we done, um, you, you can do, you, you know, just, you can do whatever you need to, uh, just, just play with it and, and, and then just dive right in. So right now, uh, I'm doing a, a February, uh, fasting February. And on this February, I'm, I'm, I'm picking something to fast from each and every day. So, uh, starting today after this post, you won't see me for a week because, <laughs> because I'm fasting from uh, social media. So the next post, um, I'll, I'll miss you guys, but the next post won't be until the next Thursday talk. Uh, so stay tuned. Changes here, changes now.